How you guys doing? A little iced coffee today. We got a little uh, Dunkin' Donuts chill, baby. What's up? Hey, Kelly. How's it going? Um, well, hey there. Had a nice coffee. Cool. Hey, what's up, Susie? Uh, yeah, I had a pretty interesting thing happen this morning. I wanted to share that. I'll take my sunglasses off, even though it's bright. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually getting ready to... Um, Head to South Carolina here for the weekend, so um, I got to get home, and uh, my wife might have heard the whistle go off, so if she did, um, honey, I'll be home really soon, I promise. I'm getting the stuff at the grocery store. I had to get a few things. Um, okay, so um, awesome workshop last night. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Glad that you were able to attend. Cool. Um, working on a new listing, and you popped up. That's awesome, Alan. Way to go. What up? What's up, Jorge? Um, yo, yo. What's up, Roberto? Or is it Robert? Robert, I'm sorry. I have a Roberto that I know. Uh, just listen to the episode with your dad. Oh, cool. Awesome. Um, yeah, all right, cool. We got a lot of you guys flying in here. That's awesome. Uh, if you guys can do me a favor, maybe share this. That'll let everyone else know out there that I'm on right now, and I've got something pretty awesome to share. Um, it's a story I want to share with you, something that just that just happened. Um, you're underestimating yourself. Well, this is a good one for you. Um, I talked... I talked about this, I don't know, I kind of talk about it quite a bit, but you know, as we grow and as we kind of go through like different things, um, we don't tend to give ourselves enough credit that we're learning and we know more than a lot of people know in this space or online or, or any of that stuff from Cambodia. Wow. Um, so let me, let me tell you what happened. So this morning, um, I was sitting there working. You know, kind of getting some last minute things done, answering some emails, um, working on some Amazon stuff in the back end, um, you know, kind of just tidying some things up, getting ready to leave, right? And um, up uh, up comes a, a guy and this girl, and they were walking up my driveway, and uh, hey, Don, what's up? And um, I'm like, who the heck is here? Like, I'm not expecting anyone. It's kind of weird. And they pulled up in this like black kind of van, and I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. So... I went to the door, Brody freaked out, and uh, I apologized for that because uh, Brody can sound ferocious, but he's really not. He's a big baby. Um, hey, Lisa, what's up? Um, so, um, loaded your gun. <laughs> no. Uh, so, then um, he comes up and goes, hey, uh, I'm with um, your realtor. We're going to take some more video of the outside of the house. And I'm like, oh, okay, because we're trying to do another... Um, yeah, it sounds like a mob looking for Papa. <laughs> that's awesome. That's funny, Dom. I love how your mind thinks, Dom. That's pretty funny. Uh, they're looking for... Hey, where's that guy that's loaning money back 40 years ago on the ship? Where is that guy? Uh, <laughs> Dom. Oh, Dom, I love you, brother. Uh, so, uh, you gotta let me focus on the story. I'm telling the story, man. Uh, so, um, yeah, so he comes up and he says... Um, you know, I need to I need to take some some more shots. They got this drone that they're flying over top of the house, and they're doing all these things, right? So, um, I walked out, met the guy, and uh, before he started taking the pictures and stuff, he was like, um, you know, yeah, my um, or the 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 realtor actually said that you um, you're a photographer, and I go, well, kind of an ex photographer. We used to do it. We don't really do it anymore. We do it for ourselves, maybe a few friends. But yeah, we had a business, and. Um, and she and uh, he was like, um, yeah, that's really cool. You know, he goes, so you know, what do you do now? And then we started talking, right, right in my driveway. And um, this guy's a videographer, and this is what he does, right? He does weddings, he does commercial shoots, he does all this stuff, and he's working his tail off, right? And Scott starts thinking, this guy's sitting on a gold mine because he's in a similar situation than I was way back when, when I started to teach people online about my photography stuff, right? So I started talking about Amazon, I started talking about eBay, I started talking about selling like digital courses and all of that stuff, and his wheels are spinning. So I'm like, let me ask you something. Right now, who else does this in the area with these, these videos for these realtors? And he's like, really, there's just me and maybe one other person. He goes, but we really have a, a, a good part of the market. I'm like, is there a certain thing that you do to get, you know, to get these leads? He goes, oh yeah. Yeah, I do. I got a, I got a little secret that I do, and he kind of shared it. And it wasn't really a big secret. He just kind of goes around where he sees people that have um, pamphlets that spend a lot of money on the pamphlets. They have a budget, so he goes after those realtors. And once he gets a, a good set of realtors, then he's, he's kind of in, right? Um, but 
there's good money in it. Um, he told me too, there's some realtors that will give him 1% of the sale price, which is kind of crazy, right? But that's not what he gets. Um, but what he does is he goes around and shoots these videos. Then he has an editing uh, guy that actually edits them. It takes about six to eight hours to do one of these videos. Um, so, um, He's sitting there thinking to himself, he's like, really? And I go, yeah, I go, I go, so here's what you gotta do. Pretend like I'm a video guy, right? I know all about videography. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a wedding videographer, but you know, weddings are tough. And he agreed, he goes like, oh man, those things are crazy. And I'm like, right now you're doing these houses. And he goes, yeah, I'm doing about six figures a year and just shooting the houses for realtors. He goes, I love doing it a lot better. And he's like, I'm thinking about franchising it and stuff like that. I go, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not franchise that right now. Why don't we go ahead and take what you know and create a system for someone that's a videographer. Like if I'm a wedding videographer and I heard you tell me I could do this and you showed me the ropes as far as how I can do this, I'd be all ears, right? So we tar started talking about capturing the email address, getting people to know, like, and trust, kind of bringing them through the whole thing, right? And I got thinking to myself, I'm like, here I am again in my driveway, random guy, random conversation, and all of this information that I don't give myself credit for for knowing right because I've doubted myself for years right I'm not a college grad all of that stuff right all of this knowledge I'm sitting here thinking he could do Amazon products around videography uh, he could do all of that stuff right so there's all of these different things that he can do right yeah Dom the funnel exactly right so this guy's spinning right so what did I tell him go check out the amazing seller.com <laughs> you'll learn all about it right there right and uh, of course I gave him my email address and said hey if there's anything I can help you with I'd, I'd love to help but this right here I could have helped him grow this thing into something pretty massive probably taking a good cut and because he has no idea but he's got a ton of knowledge so again I just want to let you guys know that that was something I did and I still do I did it years ago, but I learned that process. So by you guys going through and starting an Amazon business, it might not be the thing that you're going to be doing in 10 years from now, but it's gonna give you a ton of information, a ton of knowledge to help someone that you're sitting around with that conversation and you get into a conversation and you're like, wow, I can help you. You've got an expertise in this. Have you ever thought about doing this? And he's like, uh, fulfilled by Amazon, I'm not really sure what that means. He goes, I've sold some things on Etsy and eBay. I go, it's a whole nother story. FBA, a lot easier. So again, just wanna let you guys know, you're probably um, underestimating your knowledge. And just to understand that if you launch a product and it doesn't do what you think it's going to do, it's okay. All right, because you're learning through that process. And you can't predict where you're gonna be in five years. All you can do is take those steps to get you to where you wanna go right now in the next 90 days, 180 days, whatever it is, and grow from there and learn and then be aware. Like me being aware in my uh, in my driveway talking to this guy. Like I, I could have just been like, I'm not even gonna mention nothing to that guy, but I love talking about this stuff, right? Um, is there will it be a video in the PLC about recent split photo trick? Yeah, actually, we're going to be doing more about the split testing stuff. So that'll be definitely be com coming. Um, hey, kids here, t-shirts, Mean Joe Green Coke commercial. <laughs> Sweet. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys are, are thinking to yourselves like, I I'm not qualified for, for doing this or I don't really know much about this, learn it. If you learn it, I promise you, you'll be sitting on a gold mine because you can... You can do things with that. You can take people. Um, you can take people and and help them, right? Maybe you don't need to know the product that you're going to launch. You're going to launch their product or their expertise, right? So, again, guys, I just wanted to kind of check in here and kind of give you a little bit of that story. I thought it was pretty interesting. He got all done. Um, it was funny. Um, Amazon was down this morning, huh? Uh, yeah, I haven't really checked too much on the reporting. Um, yeah, Amazon FBA Consulting, that's no joke right there. I got to be honest with you. Chris Schaefer, he actually has done that. Um, he's, he's getting out of that a little bit. Um, Tyrone has a whole agency that does that. Um, there's a business model right around that. Um, yeah, Chris Schaefer, uh, no, it's not a joke. Uh, yeah, uh, so totally, um, totally can happen. Um, but like I said, you, you have to go out there and you got to learn it by doing it. Right, you can't just read it in a book and go, "Oh, I can help you." There's nothing better than actually going out there and doing it and getting some results and then figuring it out as you go. Um, so it's really um, something that I think we all can do. Um, one more question: Can you use super URL and giveaways, or is it against terms of service? Um, it, it's nothing in there saying anything about that, but I don't believe that Amazon wants you to do that. So um, I would say be careful with that. 
Um, if anything, maybe tell your um, reviewers where or what to search for and, and, and kind of where to find your listing. That would be kind of the, I guess, the most white hat way of doing things. Um, but I'm telling you, if you do a giveaway and then you start running pay-per-click against those keywords, it's probably going to work the same. Um, so that's probably what I would suggest there. Um, some blue hearts for you, Scott. Cool. So that's the blue hearts. Let's see some more of those blue hearts. We're almost up to a million hearts, by the way. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm excited. I'm, I'm heading to South Carolina, checking out the house. We're going to be doing the move here in about three weeks, which is crazy. Uh, my wife's been kind of hustling to get packed up and stuff. Um, oh, Jay's over Yanks. Thanks, Don. Thanks for, uh, for sharing that with me and depressing me. Um, going to watch the game tonight, though. As soon as we get in the hotel room, me and my son, Scotty, we already talked about it. We're going to be watching the game tonight, the basketball game, that is. Um, I know, Dom, you're not going to be watching it. Um, I forgot your team's out of the uh, out of the running. Um, <laughs> you should be at the game, but um, you're not. Sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> oh, at the Jays game? Is that what you're talking about? I thought you were talking about your team and the basketball. Uh, <laughs> at the Jays game, yeah, we could go to that one too, right? Uh, <laughs> why South Carolina? Um, well, it's funny. I've had people ask me that. Why are you going to South Carolina? Um, and I always tell them because I can. Uh, no, but uh, I guess to be on a more serious note, we, we've done a lot of research on some different areas. We like South and North Carolina. We're really close to North Carolina too. So we're doing it just for lifestyle. We want to um, We want to move. And uh, my son just graduated. My other daughter is uh, getting married. Lower taxes than, than mine. Yeah, it's going to be a lot lower taxes there too. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing some, uh, I'll try to do some Periscope, some Snapchats and stuff like that um, in uh, South Carolina when I'm there this weekend. Does your son think about starting his own business since his dad is a master? Um, actually, he's funny. Um, yeah, he's he's at a different uh, level right now. He's really focusing on his sports and um, I don't really want him to get deterred from that because he's got plenty of time for that. My daughter, on the other hand, my 20, uh, 21, almost 21 year old daughter, she is gung-ho. So she's... Uh, She's definitely learned a lot and she's motivated and she's got a lot of drive like I do. So she's going to do great. She's actually got a nice little business right now for uh, makeup and um, hair for weddings um, and she's crushing it. So um, yeah, uh, let them play hard. Yeah, exactly. Danny, you know all about that. We don't want to rush the kids into uh, working yet, uh, but he's got definitely the mindset. He's definitely always thinking of opportunities, uh, especially around, you know, his passions and stuff. Um, Big question, Scott, where did you learn FBA? Uh, I learned it by doing, but I did a lot of what you guys are doing. I did a lot of research online. I found out, you know, kind of like the simple process as far as getting a product launched, and then I just kind of did it. Um, trial and error, yeah. Um, that's pretty much what I did. Um, so, what's today? Thursday? Feels like Friday. Um, tomorrow there'll be a new episode. The last episode got a lot of great uh, feedback, a ton of downloads too, by the way. Um, that one there was where I interviewed Raquel, who is a stay-at-home mom with four kids, and she took a hundred bucks and turned it into seventy-three or seventy-four thousand in less than two years. So just doing retail arb and stuff. Um, after he left retail arb behind, <laughs> yeah, I, I did retail arb uh, down for like twenty minutes. Um, and did you private label? Did you? Yeah, I went. I went right to private labeling. Um, because I wasn't doing it in the beginning, um, even now, um, you know, I, I like to dabble a little bit, and I like to st I like to start. Yeah, Christmas bridges. Yeah, that was the the cedar bridges that I did from the Christmas tree shop. That was a good money maker. That that put my kids through school, uh, through private school, by the way, um, straight to garlic presses. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Amazon thing to me is a it's a great stepping stone because you don't need the traffic, you don't need the website, you don't need the blog, the authority site, any of that stuff. You can go there where traffic already is, learn out, learn that platform, and then from there you can start doing the external stuff and that's what I'm kind of working on now and that's what I'm most excited about. Um, does registered trademark from LegalZoom will protect you from hijackers? No, that will not protect you. There's not much that's going to protect you other than really having brand registry and just having a very unique product or packaging that this way you can identify that it's going to be hard for someone to jump on your listing and claim it's theirs. So that is, uh, that is something that's uh, a little frustrating and another reason why too we don't want to just bank on Amazon. We want to also go outside of Amazon when the time is right. Um, but yeah, guys, if you haven't checked out that episode or if you guys wanted more information, if you guys are brand new to Periscope, um, you can check out the podcast at theamazingseller.com um, and there'll be a new episode there Friday, Ask Scott session, and I got some really cool ones coming up in the works as well. Last night's workshop was amazing. We had over 400 people on, um, so it was really a lot of fun. I was up till about midnight doing live Q&A, um, so that was awesome. And um, I'm a little tired right now, but I'm, I'm going to be good. I'm going to be real good. I'm excited to get to South Carolina. Um, 
Every Friday. Yes, every Friday we do an Ask Scott session. Uh, need more hearts. Yes, heart it up, heart it up. There we go. Uh, cool. And yeah, share this, guys. Share the Periscope. If you guys want me to keep doing them, I need you guys to help me share this. Um, you ever run into a TAS or at rest stop uh, that recognize you? No, I haven't done that, but I got to be honest. When I do go to uh, an event or something that's around either this business or even podcasting, I do get recognized quite often, and it's it's flattering. It's kind of weird, too. Um, what is the backlog on Ask Scott questions? Um, the backlog, um, there's probably about four weeks worth um, – maybe more. Um, they're about a month out right now. So, you know, they're always coming in, but I'm about 30 days out, I believe. Um, and sometimes I'll hand pick them too, because if they're all, if there's three of them that are identical, I'll just answer the one. Um, but I try to keep it, uh, yeah, ask now, right? Hey, Scott, can you do a Google Hangout um, at these uh, kind of time more often? Oh, I see what you're saying at this time. Um, it's kind of tough, um, but yeah, we, we, we actually do it. It's what, 347 right now. Um, we do uh, a hangout workshop. Usually, we'll do them at 9 o'clock, but then we also sprinkle in like a 3 o'clock in the afternoon one. I'm trying to work on doing a replay here eventually. The problem is with replays, I get a ton more questions, and it's hard for me to keep up. Um, after we started doing PPC, our sales increased by a lot. Thanks for the podcast. Awesome. That is great news. Um, it's 9 p.m. in the UK. Perfect time. Uh, TAS um, Elite Roundtable. Yeah. Um, yeah, Dom, actually contact me on that too, buddy. I want to um, – actually, I'm getting ready to uh, put something together there where we can actually do a roundtable, um, and we're going to do that on the podcast, and I'd love to have you on. Um, anybody that's uh, just tuning in, Dom Sugar is uh, – is just an awesome guy, but a ton of knowledge, and we're going to get him on. We're going to talk about Amazon business and kind of the new changes and what we should think about, and we might disagree on some things, and that's always fun. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do more of those as well, do a little roundtable discussion. So, um, yeah, guys, I got to get running here. I got to get home. Uh, we're going to be leaving in about an hour, an hour and a half to get to the airport. Uh, my daughter's actually flying in tonight from uh, Idaho is where she was at, and uh, she'll be... Uh, She'll be around. Um, I've got my neighbor um, kind of hanging out over there too with with Brody and all that. So it's going to be fun. Um, safe travels, homie. Safe travels. I will. I'll try to do a, a scope. Um, maybe I'll do one tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be busy, but I'm going to go ahead and try to do one. Yeah, Dom, thanks. I will stay safe. And uh, yeah, I'll be... Uh, I'll be listening to an audio book, I think, on the plane. Um, I've got a couple that I'm toying around with starting to listen to. So uh, I'll let you guys know how that is. Um, all right, guys, that is it. Remember, you can always find me at theamazingseller.com. Uh, see you, mate. What's up, mate? Uh, enjoy the ride. Which book? Um, the one I'm looking at or listening to kind of right now is Profit First. Um, pretty good book. Kind of gets you to be real with your numbers. Um, and then there's another one. Um, I forget the name of it. I'll have to let you know on that. But there's another one I'm thinking about um, checking out. Um, yeah. All right, guys. That is it. That's going to wrap it up. Um, I'm going to join the rest of my iced coffee. Mm -mm. E-Myth Revisited. That's a good book, too. I've, I've read parts of that. Um, i got to actually get through the whole thing. Um, and Dom, cheese might. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, uh, yeah, and just do, do me a favor, guys. If you can uh, just share the podcast, too. If you guys know anybody that you think that would get value from it, share it for me. I would really appreciate that. And, um, yeah, I would just uh, love to be able to connect with more people like you. And I think that if we can make our... Uh, you know, our little uh, tribe here, um, just a little bit more concentrated. That's always a lot of fun, right? We're around the campfire together, right? I kind of started using the hashtag TAS Warriors. I think that's kind of cool. I think that we can make a really cool shirt about that too. Um, all right, guys, that's it. That's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys have an amazing day. I will be in touch. I'm also on Snapchat, so check me out there, at Scott Volker one And um, yeah, Dom, we'll catch you later, brother. And uh, yeah, everyone else. Uh, yeah, hashtag TAS Ballers. I like that too. Um, episode 125. Yes, that's my story. Go check that out. The one I just did with my father, that was 209. That was pretty uh, pretty interesting as well. And a lot of people like that too. So hashtag NYC, uh, hashtag SC for South Carolina. Um, all right, guys, that's it. That's going to wrap it up. Peace. Love you. Take care and take action. We'll see you guys later. All right.